Parental discretion is advised. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Hey guys, are you enjoying the Wrestling Mayhem Show? Are you finding value in these conversations? Do you want to support it so we can become even bigger? Check out patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Want to have your business or podcast featured on the show? Contact us at info at sorgatronmedia.com. Subject line, advertising. Are you ready? There's just shenanigans. Yeah, what, what's going on? All right, do a countdown. I don't know. It's, I trust them. It's going to be great. You ready? Can you can count you, backwards? Yeah, sure can. Go in three, two. Oh, you wanted me to oh, count down. Fucking shit. Counting? Yeah. <coughs> 25, 24, 23. No, Bobby. No, too much. No. You're going no, live in three. Note. You're going three, two. <laughs> That's... What are you? Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Cold opening. Welcome to the Wrestling Cold Mayhem Show. <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas time here in Sorgatron Media Studios, your trusted home for all things quality yeah. podcasting. Quality. And uh, I'm uh, I'm your host for the evening, Papa Lunchbox. I'm drinking some delicious Petri wine. If you're looking at... Ah! <laughs> I was assaulted with pizza. I apologize. I assaulted with pizza. What was, was that pizza? <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Was it pizza? No, it was a wrench. Okay. Are you are you okay? Are I'm you okay? good. No, I'm are you good. Sure you can do this. I are mean, I mean, it's the one things? the one time a year I give you the present of running. And a I show. really appreciate it. And I got attacked with pizza from Slice on Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is on camera. Slice on Broadway. It's delicious and and uh, uh, full of uh, pepperoni and uh, it's limp. So Dutters is holding it up. <laughs> Uh, goes great with that pitchy wine, right? This <sighs> is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Sorg, what number is it? 450. 450. Flash. 400. And can you fucking believe it? 450, the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I it's great. Can't. It's the holidays, and we're very glad to have you here. Uh, as I said, I'm DJ Lunchbox. No need to get into that anymore because I came out of my underground lair. But who else is on the show but everybody? To my left, the fantastic, glorious, sensual, and... Uh, uh, furry Rizdefer. Say hello, Rizdefer. Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you for having me here for a third time in a row, Sword. That's what? three. No, That's three. That you know what me. that means, right? It's good. Dutters is drinking mean? my wine. Oh, you're official. <laughs> I'm an official now. You're officially I'm on official. the show. Yeah. I'm officially on the show as of today. This is a host. <laughs> I am a host. Riz is an official host. Welcome. Cheers. 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 Uh, oh, what is this I'm drinking? Holy fuck, it's the Petri Wine Company. I have an actual real bottle of Petri Wine, the family that took time to bring you good wine. Uh, it's uh, red, and there's a walrus on it. Who needs to know anything more How than that? Is that? What, which uh, kind of wine goes with limp pepperoni pizza? Alcoholic. Every, every alcoholic. Um, okay. Next up, we have our foreign visitors. Wait so are you ready to, ready to switch? Well, uh, yeah, who am I switching to? You're speaking into your vodka <laughs> bottle. I'm <laughs> first up. <laughs> first up from the beautiful country of Poop Gipsy, New York. <laughs> Mad microphone. <laughs> Wait. Hi. Hi guys. Um, four, I cannot I, see I'm not that. drinking. I really should be. Um but yeah, uh, you guys are drinking, so I feel the alcohol just seeping into my ears, which I'm, is making me I'm pretty sure everybody does at this point. <laughs> and I am sorry. Don't be. I'm not. Uh, from the <laughs> faraway land uh, next to the sun of... Uh, where are you? Are you in Corpus Christi currently, or are you yeah. elsewhere? <laughs> next yeah. to the sun. In, are you, in, in, in are you doing what we told you to do on Monday? Eamon, sir? where are you? Are you on location? He's in Mercury. <laughs> I, I am, I'm in Mercury right now. 
yes, I'm here, and, and my body's made of 10% alcohol, so I think I should be okay. <laughs> Eamon is on board. Eamon! Eamon is joining us. Eamon, too, please, mainstay of the Wrestling Mayhem show. Uh, master, Lord and master of all things indie wrestling. Sorg just looked at me like, what the fuck are you getting at? <laughs> uh, Sorg, who else? Uh, Bobby F. Bobby F. Goddamn J-Town from the underwater land of J-Town. Uh, I'm in a Mario Brothers level. <laughs> <laughs> that when I walk out of my house, that's show. what music plays. How much do you hate those tiny fish? <laughs> cheap cheeps. Cheap cheeps. And bloopers. And bloopers. Yes. Bloopers Speaking of bloopers. bloopers. Speaking of ah. bloopers. This whole show. Uh <laughs> folks, uh this is the Wrestling Mayhem show and hot diggity daffodils, are we glad that you're here? Uh, here's the important part, the thing that you need to know mainly about the Wrestling Mayhem Show is that there would not be a Wrestling Mayhem Show without the head of the class, our personal Mr. Belding, and Zach... What was his last name? Zach Morris. Morris. Zach Morris rolled into one, ladies and gentlemen, Zorgatron! Why'd you look Zach at me Ryder. when you said Zach? Because I wanted you to know... I, I, know, I, I wanted know you to tell me his last fucking name, <laughs> Rizdefer. <laughs> I wanted you to know the name because I didn't. <laughs> Go back to Sorg. Sorg, say Sorg. hi. Hi, Sorg. Hi, guys. Hey, buddy. I'm so happy to be here. The only night I allow myself to drink and podcast at the same time. Mm -hmm. well, I'm on the boards. I got so many buttons, and I'm slowly forgetting what each of them do. What are you drinking? What does that button do, well, I don't know what I'm drinking anymore. This is coffee. Not drinking this and vodka. Driving. Sorg's drinking coffee. <laughs> coffee. Which I spike. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's and... full of it's full of Irish cream and semen. You see, <laughs> <laughs> you see, um, you see, I am thing. decorative with my purple Christmas tree. It's pretty great. Yeah, it is purple. You like that? I do like that. It's, it's very, very festive. Purple. Yeah, in my own way. It makes me feel good. In my own way. Uh, no, I'm very excited to talk wrestling. Talk about the past, the future. Ghost of Christmas past. Of Not the present. Can't see what's well, happening. Did fucking podcast. This oh, week. Did you just forget? Of wrestling? This podcast is haunted. Yes. May I do this part, next part, since I have the graphics over here? Uh, sure. We, or, I no, you know, it's I more wanna, fun I want to say the one part. I okay, want to say the one say, part. Say, say we stuff. are going to kick off the podcast the only way. No, we know how. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit. This is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Well, if we have a scared no, Yes, away. I'm aware. And disclaimer. <laughs> I've been waiting all Not night. Not all of our shows are like this. And all day. Not all of our shows are like this, but once a year. That we have alcohol. This is a very special episode. So your, is, this is your first episode. We're full of Christmas Why? cheer. Go, go to another one first. Why is this your to first know episode? What this is exactly God about. bless you if this is your first episode. Thank you for listening. But check you. us out. We're at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Right? Right? right. And, and people can subscribe to us. Where can they Don't ask me questions when I'm drinking, you fuck. They can subscribe to us I on iTunes. I wasted this delicious <laughs> Petri right. wine iTunes, in my beer. Stitcher. 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 Spreaker. Spreaker. And, oh, there's a test. There's a test. Hank, I heard, iTunes. I Heart Radio. I Heart Radio. One hundred percent. I get a sticker. No, I get I a, a sticker, Hanky. right? Right, 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 right. Oh, and you, you can also drop us a email address at that address. Where's that? Where's that at address? That email address. Where's that address at, guys? Good, good times. Good times. A wrestling ma'am show. And there's random email addresses of people you don't know. Uh, Wait, I learned how to do this by watching. Are you being served? WMS zero. What? Hold. What? Did you just reference? Are you being served? Yes, I did. I'm fine, Mrs. Locum. You can also please. <laughs> yes, what, Mrs. What? You can also please, if you like please this kind of stuff. Sorg, listen, how long have we had the phone number? The phone number? Yes. For a we while. Okay, every time we do this, I want to say it along with you, but I almost say my work number every <laughs> single week. <laughs> well, uh, you know, people can also support us with Patreon. Oh. You know that, right? Wait, did we Wait, we're we skipping the phone number? What's the phone number? I didn't say the phone number, didn't I? 412 No, no, that's not it. 412 wms 0 There it is. Right there. This fucking knows what's up. It's actually right And you can... Oh, shit, you're right. God damn it. And you can support us on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem. Just like the Wrestling Revolution dot com mm, mm. as well as... I don't know what's happening over there. As well as... You guys ready for this? <clears throat> Woo! Oh, oh. diggity! Woo! There we go. There you go. And I also, was going to chop you, but you're teasing away. 
I've been chopped so many times And we had a contest for people to comment on our iTunes. No comment. Oh, jeez, you did that I'm thing. So you did that thing. Go ahead and fix that. <laughs> Go ahead and fix that. I watch you on mute. Um, we we also had a contest for anybody who commented on our iTunes, and I know at least one person did. I'm trying to find them. Who was it? Who was it? Who was I it? I know it was Alex Carr. Who was it? It was on. Alex Carr. Who was it, and it. what did he say about Sorry. me? What? <laughs> I, I don't know. I can't find it. I think. But I know Alex Carr's did. Shit, fuck. Oh, there it is. No, that's oh, not the right no, one. No, sword didn't find it. Let's bring up the pot. Where's my kid? They can't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to work on that. Apparently, there's an approval process for iTunes, so we'll, we'll, we will disclose Alex a winner Carr, as it comes your up email. here. Send we're going to give, give it another week to see those pop up, and, uh, and we'll go from there. All right, uh, but the winner of that is going to get all three uh, winner takes all. Um, actually, hell, I'll throw in the fourth one. I'll throw 2014 Whoa! that came out. Wow. This, that, Holy uh, fuck! Uh, that, uh, <laughs> just that has a great match with Matt Hardy and John McChesney. It, uh, wow. Ladder match with Andrew Palace. I saw that. In, I saw that ladder match. You saw that ladder match. It was killer. Um, Zima Fine. Zima Ion, who may or may not be joining us in 2015 on the <laughs> Indie Mayhem <laughs> Show, TNA Superstar, and uh, all kinds of other fun stuff going on there. Uh, of course, you yeah, PittsburghWrestling.com. Uh, Pop a lunchbox. How do we start the show? The only way we know how. Is, how? Why is, can they hear me? Yeah. Is the how? microphone on? Yeah. Turn up my cans. No. I'm not Jay Z. Uh, <laughs> Turn my headphones up. He's, that's his, I don't know why they say that in rap songs. Uh, the only way we know how, Sorg, with the fan mail. Yeah, yeah. The fan <laughs> mail. And listen, <laughs> listen, this week is something special. Yes. Oh, it, is? it really is something special. Uh, in the in the wrestling mayhem show fan mail, and the reason it is special is because for the first time ever, yeah, we huh? have a sponsor for our fan mail segment. What? what? We have a very special sponsor. Wait, How did that happen? This wasn't cleared. Well, this is kind of a crossover. Oh. I gave intern Stan the night off. Oh, oh. no! Oh, and this no. one of our Why? sponsors. Why? Did, you mean it, by by give him the night off? You mean you killed him? <laughs> Oh, no. Is he in my trunk no, right he's now? Fine. He's fine. He was off. tweeting at Bobby. Yeah, he did. He's he was he was day. tweeting earlier. It's he, intern Stan is fine. He's a young man. He has to go sow his wild oats. He can't be everywhere at did all times. Did you time. stuff him in you my trunk? Listen, I stuffed him in your trunk once, but not tonight. <laughs> He did you turn him wild into human walrus? He sowed him wild, his wild oats by Listen, he's an intern. He's Super barely shredder. a person. Don't he, worry that about it. That is true. And spreading him out around a garden. When they're dead, they're just interns. His name was Robert Paulson. <laughs> <laughs> the important part is uh, one of our sponsors, the sponsors panel riot, is uh, is uh, decided to sponsor the Mayhem Show for this evening, and that sponsor is the <laughs> Petri Wine Company. Oh wow! Oh. The Petri Wine Company. They uh, they sent me a letter. They want to uh, sponsor the uh, the email segment for this week's Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, and uh, we want to say a special thank you to finally sending me a bottle, the Petri Wine Company. And uh, we want to thank you, the Petri family. Say it with me now. The family, family that family. took time, time to bring you, you good, good wine. Good wine. Good wine. Good wine. Uh, wine. How did I know? Now that? we know who listens to your podcast. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! I greatly appreciate it. Woo! At panelriot.com. Uh, oh, I had to clear that. Wait, wait. I said this on the other show, but the best one man podcast right now in the business is, oh is, is panelriot.com. Right oh, right oh, you guys are too kind right to me. It's the holidays. You're too kind. I, what, you know, I thought you were going oh, first. And, and, and plus you, and plus you, and plus you buttered me up with an amazing present earlier. Look That's at this true. Thing. Andre, Andre the Giant, the giant, the, the, the crazy graphic novel I've been hearing about. I love it. Sorg will Andre read it, giant and has I will read it, and then we will review it. Okay. I'm I'm actually no. Never mind. That's an off-air conversation. Okay. okay. But it, it's, it's what is there any background for this? I mean, I don't it's know if anybody. It's about Andre the Giant. It's I, I read about it a, a, a little while ago. It's an Andre the Giant graphic novel, and mm-hmm. I, I got to flip through it today because it came in the mail today. Mm-hmm. And and it's excellent. It's by um, show me the cover. Box. His first name is Box. Which Box I'm Brown. A fan of. Box, Box, Box Brown, Brown, which is my cousin. Uh, Box I'm Lunchbox. Brown? He's Box Brown. Uh, <laughs> Bobby Boyd. I love <laughs> Box Brown. <laughs> <laughs> by anyway, the, way, the point um, is, it's a great from, graphic from the, novel. You should check it out. Chat room. Matt Carlin says intern Stan still owes him twenty fifty dollars. Uh, he's dead now. So yeah, it's, uh, he's not Stan, dead. Yeah. Not getting that money. He's not dead. He's just physically and men- emotionally hurt. He's probably that is listening fine. to the show. Anyway, he's doing the point yoga is... and he just tightened himself to another plane of existence. <laughs> 
Okay. That plan of existence being his head searching. Hey. The, I, Emails? 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 Can we yes. do emails? Right. Yes, brought to you by the Petri Wine family. We do have an email. Uh, we have one. How many do we have? We have so a lot. At least we two. Have four. We have three. We have a three. bazillion. We have three. I only four. have one here. I just there's there's two in the dock at least. Okay. All right. Oh no, there is three. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Who's gonna start? Yeah. I'll start. You Sorg. Start? Sorg. I'll start. Please do. Dear Mayhem Nation, this is from our good friend Dustin. Where's my camera? There's my camera. Oh shit. Dustin. Oh man. The oh, baddest shit? motherfucker mm, on wait, the I was internet. hoping he came back. I was hoping he came back. He mm -hmm. came back. Yay, Dustin. Mm -hmm. I think I got some predictions from him from last year. I goddamn motherfucking <clears throat> love. Dear Dustin. Mayhem Nation. Do you know who Dustin is? I'm going to do it in. <laughs> Wrestler voice, apparently. <laughs> I found. You guys all right over there? Great. All right. Go awesome. ahead. Listen. Shut the fuck up, Riz. He's reading. It's time for your <laughs> listening voices. I found the year of 2014 to be quite the fun year in wrestling. We have seen the Brian payoff. TNA lose the face of their company and AJ Punk walked away. Eric Young won a world title. The Bull Club took over the IWC. Not that IWC. Nope. <laughs> Brock, that IWC is at pittsburghwrestling.com um yeah. brock beat the streak lashley was the first world heavyweight champion of a promotion to fight in an mma ring cole cabana broke the internet quotey marks uh tna hosted the first pay-per-view in japan the wwe developmental territory was run was overrun by internet darlings more quotey marks and Dixie went through a table. These are simply a handful of things that happen in this in this year, and it barely touches on the great things in the indies. It was a great year in wrestling. Yep. Wait, wait what's happening over there? You okay? You You're taking, taking selfies, you bitch. Okay, well, I have a question for you. <laughs> Questions? Oh, lay it on me, hot dog. Since Oof. moving to Destination America, TNA has been granted a live debut, a nine-hour marathon, oh, replays what? immediately yeah. following what? their show, and a quasi-new show in Unlocked. So far, would we say that this was a smart move? Well, they're getting no. everything. You know oh, what? Whoa, 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 a One live nine-hour marathon? Yeah. No, no, a live <laughs> debut show and then a, a nine-hour marathon. I, I have a question to determine whether or not TNA has made a smart move. Okay. Who who knows offhand if they have Destination America? I know I, I don't. Do. No. I do. I have the internet. <laughs> I do. I watch... I watched that. Deep I've, fried I've watched America Deep Fried Pair or Deep Fried <laughs> Masters <laughs> yeah. probably five also, times you were already. Excited with that list. Oh man! Also, I, watch... I don't think anybody's taken into account the fact that the time slot that they put TNA in, like they've given them a home, yes, but it's it's a time slot that's very much like away from like their premier programming. Like it's <laughs> not it? like what, what, it's not like ideal. Like, it's Fridays, um, isn't it? United and, uh, States of Bacon. We're, we're not going to be able to podcast on it. No, we're not. Cause it's, it's, it's because a it's, it's a Friday night show now. War. Yeah. That would be the end of week war. Exactly. Darn it. <laughs> that means we can't watch TNA. Well, no, no. Sorry. That means we're going to be talking about more on the main show as opposed to TNA. <laughs> Let's talk about Lucha oh, Underground. No. <laughs> Fucking oh. hashtag Lunchbox loves Lucha. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, let's talk about uh, so so. I mean, if nothing else, they have at least a home that they can put a lot of content out. Um, yeah. I, I I don't know about new audience or anything like that. I, I think I feel like this is going to help. I feel like this is going to help uh, Destination America more than it's going to help TNA in the long run. Um, but but TNA has a lot of breathing room there. I think this is more like when when WWE went to TNN, they didn't go to. T I know there's more. They actually got more money to go to TNN, but they didn't go to TNN. Because TNN was a big network, TNN was trying to build. Destination TNN. America is trying to build, and TNA, even though it comes from Spike and wasn't as big a numbers, is a better one than. Uh, and again, I guess it's different circumstances, but uh, uh, that's my apples and oranges. What the fuck is happening on the couch? <laughs> sorry, sorry, you're trying to have something. We're communicating we're non verbally. Yeah. Diddling each other? <laughs> guys, that's, on the, I'm sorry. I'm trying to be quiet. Guys on the couch, what do you think of the move? They're just playing um, diddling. Listen, I'm try we're trying really hard to be quiet. I know, and I want to know what you know about TNA. Well, Riz, you have watched I've, far more TNA in the I past have. five, four years than I have. I used to watch it like a motherfucker back in the day. You thought um, it was good at one point. Because <laughs> it was. Who didn't? I um, did, because it was 
Ring of Honor Redux. Sorg's drinking but, vodka. Yeah, I this love it when Sorg drinks vodka. Bottle. Fuck, that brings me back. <laughs> um, but but to be honest, that's how we started this podcast. I they haven't shown anything yet from yeah. from their episode, you and we won't know. Wait. <laughs> And they, we won't know what's going to happen until they show that. If it's the same TNA, it's going to fail. If it's it's going to be the same TNA because the main event of the first show is it's Bobby, Bobby Lashley Lewis and Bobby Lurie. Yeah, Bobby that's Lashley. It. I'm I'm mesmerized by this GIF in the chat room right now. <laughs> Wait, I don't. What, what, what is GIF? it? I love what GIFs. <laughs> I love what GIFs. GIFs. I must know. Show me the GIF, Sorg. Please, Sorg, bring it up. Uh, it's the guy from Grand Theft Auto <laughs> jumping into a pool <laughs> and dying. <laughs> <laughs> it's about the equivalent of okay, how right. this show started. Yep. Tony Garza That's amazing. Now, right. Sorg, amazing. in that same vein, can you bring up the Vine feed of Chris D'Elia and show the Vine of him running into a wall? Why? He says, uh, Grand Theft, I just got Grand Theft Auto Five. Welcome, or should, oh, fuck it. No, don't do it. Don't do it. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. Moving on, Sorg. <laughs> Okay. So uh, back what, to the email. Oh, TNA. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Uh, Will, what's what's your uh, take? What? He never. He he hasn't. What watched. is my name <laughs> <laughs> on this show? It, it's it says it right. It is a there, it is a sword. small pleasure right that I get there. to be called Lunchbox on the wrestling name. <laughs> I can't be that serious. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's the question about TNA? Is it a good move? Is it a good them? move that they're getting all these shows? It and... is a good move for yes. TNA. Yes. Because Spike didn't fucking want them. That. They are still on television, which is the most important thing and... to uh, to global exposure to. Fuck, what am I even saying? To a wrestling group. <laughs> no, no, group. no. You're, you're on the right track. Yeah. yeah, to a wrestling group nowadays because you have. What? Please give. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Don't look! <laughs> Sword! <laughs> Um, I have a monitor over here. Don't, I can't look away. Don't You're look, everywhere. I hit you it. are fine. surrounding me visually. <laughs> you can look now. It's fine. Uh, being on television is the right track because you know what we know the name of? You know what more people know the name of than anything else? Lucha Underground. Because they got a television deal. On, people, a, high, on a high network. On not a high on a Spike network. TV or anything. People know the name of TNA because they're on TV. Okay? I don't have a Ray Network. I don't Unless, have a Ray Network either. Yes, but what did you just say? I don't, I don't have, have L. Ray Network. You don't have the what? L. Ray Network. And you know the fucking name of what you don't have, and that at <laughs> least is a step in the right direction. Destination. You know the name Lucha Underground, and you know what the network is called. Yeah, but Tell me Latvia? one, not Eamon, because he will know this, and I have ultimate respect for him, but everyone else, please tell me the name of any indie promotion from Iowa. <laughs> wow. What? Not on television! Don't know the name of them! <laughs> Does so, Iowa yes. have television, though? <laughs> yes, they have. Iowa, they have television Iowa record. Logic. And my friend Kim is from Iowa. Oh. What's up, Kim? Follow him. Follow her. <laughs> K.A. Diebold at, on Twitter. She's great. Did you She's just super forget fun. your friend's gender? <laughs> E I E I O W. I did. I'm sorry, Kim, but I gave you a plug. Go follow her. K A D Boat. She's amazing. Listen, no, the point is yes, it's a good move for TNA because they're still on television, which is clutch. Now, if they take this opportunity and wrap their filthy little grubby, uh, sharp nailed fingers around the neck of it and do something with it, that's great. If they keep it as business as usual and still doing the same shit they did on Spike, fuck them. They don't deserve it. Put Lucha Underground uh, uh, in their place. Yes, one, the one thing I, I'd like to add on to that is for Spike TV, when they had TNA on, mm -hmm. all they did was promote the other show coming on after it. Mm -hmm. You saw the big, you saw the big banner of Bellator. Mm -hmm. You saw them promoting. Bellator. You see them promote Bellator in the ring with uh, King Mo. And Sounds like a scary monster. Bellator. 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 Bellator versus Godzilla. I would watch that. I'm the Bellator, and I'm coming but, to get ya. But like with Tito Ortiz and King Mo and uh, fucking Lashley. Rampage Jackson. Mm -hmm. uh, I miss King Mo and Mabel. It just. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It was just a glorified hour, two hour long preview for Bellator MMA. Can I tell you why? Why? Because Spike TV was bigger than TNA. Yeah, but that's what the Bella Twins form. Bella you know, <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! You know what's not bigger than TNA? 
America, whatever the fuck network. <laughs> because <laughs> I don't, don't even, even know, know its it. name. But I know what TNA is. Oh my god. You so don't even TNA, know what And you will know its name, right? Destination. Destination America. America. Right. Well, they're really going to be selling that Destination X match. Because they should. to Spike TV, TNA was just another show. But to Destination America, TNA is uh, something worth having. Mm-hmm. I have said enough. Sorg, Sorg, please throw it to, the, are, to everyone else. Bobby, the Bobby, did you have anything on this? On the first question. What do you think? Fucking shit balls. We are. This is going Any on. thoughts on Destination America, TNA? Um, Say I, no, Bobby. I like their bacon show. <laughs> Moving on. Great job. Eamon? Second question. Eamon? No, I don't got thoughts. But fucking, <laughs> Good job, Eamon. Eamon, Eamon, <laughs> level with me. Have you actually been drinking? No, not at all. Oh, have you, that's have a you, bummer. Have you been oh. taking any drugs? To me there. Have you been oh. taking wow. any drugs? Wow, wow. Eamon, out of, out of, purely out of curiosity, do you actually know an indie promotion out of Iowa? I, I don't, don't think they exist. E-I-E-I-O-W. Oh. <laughs> oh, moving on. Next question, number two. After the TLC PPV, I am curious. What's your all-time favorite wrestling stipulation, and why? Any specific uh, matches to watch? I'm sorry. The greatest wrestling stipulation ever is obviously the Royal Rumble. Uh, I'm actually with Sorg on this one. I mean, I, that's the one. I that is the agree. one we look forward to, regardless of any yeah. state of yeah. wrestling. So every year. In, Punjabi in, in, prison in, match and <laughs> <Punjabi. laughs> Royal Rumble and Money in the Bank. What was that name? My two favorites. Uh, in layman's terms, any kind of like battle royal. Generally, even though a well, lot of no, them don't no, live up, battle royals are different. But the Ro- yeah. Royal Rumble is all about the anticipation of people coming out. No, no, no. Yeah, the, well, Royal Rumble, the Royal Rumble. The Royal Rumble is a specific building of like, like, like the Royal Rumbles. You can't say you don't like the Royal Rumble the same way you like TNA Gauntlet yeah, matches. Like Those are basically so you know the same thing, like. Mm. No, no, they're not. <laughs> well, well, they are in the sense. No, because you can't have more than one person in the ring at a time in a TNA Gauntlet match. What is the, what's uh, TNA's Gauntlet match? I thought that was like their Royal Rumble. I don't fucking know anymore. That's when they get um, an old school arcade machine and play Gauntlet in the middle of the ring. Yes. What the fuck? Um, there used to be a I'd Gauntlet machine at my at our college, Sorgelstein. <laughs> Did you ever play? No, there that? wasn't. Yeah, there was. When? It was Gauntlet, yeah. If there was a Gauntlet machine in the arcade at our school, I would have never graduated. There for real was. I'm serious. I used to play the fucking Red Archer because my friend leveled it up. Oh, was it like that Gauntlet Legends or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't good. that's why. It wasn't good. Remember when that guy uh, was like trying to get a snack loose and he fucking smashed the (laughs) glass? I was there when that happened and it went, and then he like shivered. It was fucked up. Was, was it my friend that jumped off the bridge? No, that was... What was that guy's name? Oh, Splat. His name was Splat. Because fucking Splat. motherfucking jumped off the bridge. I won't say his real name because he's actually from my hometown. Yeah, he was yeah. like, I'm wearing combat boots and they'll survive anything. Fucking jump off a bridge. Guess what? They didn't survive. <laughs> his fucking goddamn motherfucking legs broke. Wow. I am meeting my intern. curse quota wow. for this year. Wow. Uh, any oh, other no. thoughts? Any other thoughts? Any other stipulations? Did anybody else not say anything? Uh, money, in the, in, money in the bank. Money in the bank. I got no. you there. Uh, any Iron I, Man or two out of three? Uh, I, I think Money in the Bank seconds the Royal Rumble. Like that's the mm-hmm. new one we get yep. excited. Actually, for. I got a, a real one for this one. Uh, WCW's. Uh, what are you games. saying? We got fake answers. <laughs> <laughs> What's your problem, Riz? War games. Okay. All right. Yep. All right. Uh, I want. Uh, I want to. Matt wanna... Carlin's found an indie promotion out of Iowa called Impact Pro Wrestling. Impact Pro Wrestling? Yes. <laughs> Why not? I'm gonna uh, next yeah. time I see Matt Carlin's, I'm gonna give him a big old hug. What about EIO? Yeah. Um, no, I my actually fa- my favorite stipulation, uh, besides the Royal Rumble, Elimination Chamber. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love with the chamber match. Notable Which exception they, they of moved. December to Dismember. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Um, I actually want to agree with Eamon on on uh, his comment. Uh, when he said the Iron Man match, right? Mm-hmm. Is that what you said? It's, sim- I, it's simple, and I think it's super effective. I but agree, because I have never seen an Iron Man match given to two wrestlers who couldn't support that kind of match. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've never um, seen, I've never seen an say, Iron Man match and was like, fucking these guys. I, I will say um, uh, the best Iron Man match, in my opinion, and my opinion uh, oh, is the Brock Lesnar-Kurt Angle one from SmackDown. As a underrated, really fucking good Iron Man match. Yeah, yeah. Um, Goddamn. Brett, good and match. Sean, Brett and Sean is overrated. Brett and Sean is overrated. You shut Brett your and damn Sean, mouth. No, wow. Brett and Sean was the first time they tried doing it. 
It, so, it was. In, it's, in like, it's, like the Brett, it's like the Brett and Sean ladder match. Also, Bret Hart got screwed in that match. Amen. They went 0-0, zero, zero, which means it was a draw, which means Brett leaves with the title. Amen. Brett screwed Brett. Shut your goddamn motherfucking mouth, because I grew up as a Bret Hart fan. And actually, that leads me to my next point. Amen. That match was rated so highly by so many people because they were invested when they saw it at the time. I loved it. I fucking loved it because I was a Bret Hart fan yeah. at the time. If as a conscientious objector as you are now, how the fuck did I say that? Wow, that was good. <laughs> oh, holy! Up, bam! Uh, Man is very I'm really hot. Um, <laughs> as a conscientious objector with no necessarily emotional <laughs> Where attachment. Are you going, you, Sorg's looking for Sword. something. Sorg's over Sword. here. Sorg, Sword. Sword. who's running the show? Who's running, who's the, running show? the show? Uh, oh, that's like I can show. I can understand your perspective because you're not emotionally invested in it. Yes, I I just think it's it's super long and it doesn't have a lot of. It's I mean, super long. long. It's sixty long. minutes. Yep. I know, but some matches are. Some people have a better time. Six, sixty. Know, but Amen, pretty much every Iron Man match after that was built on creative falls. As opposed to Brett and Sean that wanted to build to a 60-minute draw and then have the uh, overtime. Mm-hmm. Because- That's true, which is why I love the Bro- uh, the Brock Kurt match so much because Brock yeah. basically basically is like the ultimate sh- strategist because he gets himself DQ'd like twice or whatever by hitting Kurt Angle over and over with a steel chair just so he can get an advantage. <laughs> I'm, se- I'm serious. We used to do that in the video games. Yeah, We would have an Iron Man match and just hit the other person with a chair for half an hour and yeah. see how many negatives we could get. <laughs> and then just try to win it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. But no, I, I totally agree. I think anything is 100% correct. Wow. That's a, that's a statement we never no, heard before. No, listen, I, I agree with Eamon a lot. I just don't voice it all the time. Because <laughs> we're not on the same shows anymore. That that's little insane. motherfucker knows what he's talking about. Apparently. Eamon, I mean, one of these days I'm going to have a Wednesday off and I'm going to be on the Indie Mayhem show. Good because it's, it's on Tuesday. Oh, okay. I guess, yeah, I guess but it's late. But it's late. <laughs> but it's late, so I, I can stay there up late is. on a Tuesday. I was gonna say, do you think the show's filmed on Wednesday? No, no, no. <laughs> if I have Wednesday off, I can stay up late on Tuesday. Because seriously, man, I've been. I, I might get into this later. I've been watching Lucha Underground. I've been watching NXT. I want to watch uh, more Ring of Honor, and I got shit to talk about that is more appropriate for the Indie Mayhem show. I, I would be happy you should, to have you, you on. You should come on the midweek war to talk about Luke Thursday night. Oh. Thursday night with the guys. Thursday night's D&D. Sorry, okay. folks. There you go. Actually, uh, we got another question. Yeah. <laughs> We're in the first email, guys. We are <laughs> fucking <laughs> shit fuck. There's three. There's three. It's like trying to talk about a James Bond movie. We're only in the first five minutes. <laughs> Let me drink first. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wow. Anyways. I fucking warned you. I yeah. fucking warned you, Riz. Yeah. I'm a sweaty man. I'm drinking. I'm real warm. <laughs> Wow. Sorry, um, the <laughs> NXT, Jesus, there's a second email. NXT R Evolution email. was Fuck, a great really? show. I'd be inclined to say it was better than TLC. My yeah, question, yeah. though, what do you do with uh, Itami and Baylor? Do you keep them in a tag team or allow them to compete in singles since their battle with the Ascension is complete? I think they get, they split off from here. They they, this was I the think t- so. Tag singles. team was to the point yeah. to take out the Ascension. The Ascension are moving up to the main roster. I and mean, wouldn't, wouldn't you like to see a, a Tommy and Baylor match? Yeah. Oh yeah, I yes. think that's what you need to do. Um, I want to see Baylor and Tyson Kidd. I think like, that's what you're gonna see. I want to see I Baylor they, wrestle they, goddamn yeah. motherfucking everybody. I think they're gonna go after tag titles. So good. Yeah, you think, you think they're gonna do another face versus face you, Bobby? I don't think I don't Possibly. see that happening. Whatever. I think, I will, I think uh, Lucha Dragons and Italian I think Ballad. maybe maybe the Vaude Villains might win it and then fight, feud with them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Possibly that's your choice, <laughs> but uh, I, that's the only other tag team that's like bad tag team. But they can always create some more tag, he- teams. tag teams. They can always Although, create I, more. Not if, saying, not saying the Vaude Villains are a bad tag team because I bought their T-shirt this weekend and I also bought Finn Balor. And those are the first two WWE shirts that I bought, and they're both from NXT. Wow. <laughs> well, since, since last year, since last year. Nice. If the Vaude Villains and uh, Itami and Balor end up feuding. And the Vaude villains make a silent movie, black and white thing about one of Baylor's characters. Then yes, sign me up. <clears throat> because they will have a midget dressed as Carnage, and I will be in full approval. <laughs> I have never said this about a tag team before. <laughs> <laughs> what is? Hey, man. Hey, man, what are you doing? Oh me? I'm playing with my bangs. <laughs> 
Are you are you sure From you haven't on. been drinking anything? From no. now on, hey. every social media account I have will be a picture of Eamon. Just playing with his bangs. Just doing devil locks. Eamon, um, <laughs> just remember I mean, the drunk guy on the switcher. Get the Superman curl. Just remember this the drunk guy on the switcher can see everything. <laughs> By the way, great misfits impression. Sorry, yeah. but I'll be back to you. Uh, I've never <laughs> I don't think I've ever said this about a tag team before, uh, but Itami and Baylor are both too good to not wrestle in singles competition. Yep. Yeah. They are too have to. fucking good. And here's a secret that I'm drunk enough to tell everyone. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That match against the Ascension was the first match I had ever seen from either of them. Oh. Did wow. Wow. And they were, got, they were so good that they make me want to go back and watch previous matches of theirs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am um, on honestly, fucking board. Honestly, it was their best match in NXT. I honestly, before. skip the NXT ones. Go find some. <laughs> well, no, that's whatever, what I'm but, talking yeah. about. In the interest of full disclosure, ones, yeah. I'm on a huge alternative wrestling. Game. <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll be, By the way, be, fun fact. Fun fact. That Finn Balor guy. You know that Bully Club thing that everyone keeps talking about. Mm-hmm. He made that thing, mm. and when he was in it, it was the better version of what it is today. <laughs> I want to propose something right here and now as the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We are the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We're the longest-running wrestling podcast on the internet. Do you understand that? We've been around for nine, soon to be ten fucking years. years. We are the tastemakers. So I propose this. Indie wrestling. We retire the term indie wrestling. Whoa. Oh, this well, is I guess we're oh, the Well, then? you know, you know, that's interesting because on the in- Indie Mayhem show, which I just released this morning or afternoon, okay, we talked about the idea of indie wrestling not being a term. Okay, that should be. It, it needs to be a little more tiered than that. Did you come up with an alternative? Because no. I have a great alternative. No, no, but uh, we'll, is we'll... it alternative? Alternate wrestling? Shit! What was that? Was that what I was gonna say? <laughs> I don't know. I'm yeah. so sorry. Did I just screw up your thoughts? I think that was, yeah, I did. Was I, I going to say alternative wrestling? I think you were going to say alter- well, alternative. Is that, is that what you are going to say? Fuck it, yes. I'm a child of the 90s, and our music was called alternative music. <laughs> Fucking, if it's oh. not WWE and it's not TNA, alternative wrestling. I can't wait for the rest of us to come out with hair in their face and wearing, and wearing flannel and we holes were... in their jeans. Wasn't that just ECW? No. I mean, yes, but no. <laughs> I mean this in a different way. Because indie wrestling, I was having a conversation with somebody about this, and I called it indie wrestling, and I was referring to Lucha Underground, and I was like, this isn't fu- No. I was watching the ladder match, and they, they referred to something else as indie wrestling as opposed to Lucha Underground. Mm-hmm. And it occurred to me that, yes, this isn't fucking indie wrestling. This isn't the independent circuit. This is alternative wrestling, and, and that's a better unless term. Unless you say for that it. the independent is independent of the big corporate WWE, I agree with that. Mm-hmm. But I feel like that term is played out. Then mm-hmm. wouldn't we wouldn't we put like TNA under the independent realm too? Oh, yeah, don't like you could. That. You could. To be fair, we've been calling TNA an indie for years. Kind of. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, they fucking act like one. Move, move on, Sorg. I think. All right, no, wrestling. No, 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 no. Before wow. we move on, I, I genuinely want <laughs> Eamon to, to weigh in on this because if anyone. Ow has an opinion that has weight to it on this. It's Eamon. I resent that remark. <laughs> <laughs> I switched to him and we just see <laughs> You're back in. Bobby, fucking, Bobby's fucking leaving. I was He's leaving. fucking out. I was leaving because you said weight to it. Oh, oh Bobby. Bobby. Bobby, no! No, actually, I, I, I You're a beautiful you flower, no, and I would background. tongue you if you moved to Pittsburgh. I was, I was, I realized the USA Network was on the background, and I think it was an episode of Suits. Suits, <laughs> of course. <laughs> or Covert Affairs. Anyways, Eamon, answer the question. Eamon, please weigh answer, in on this. I, I want to know your opinion. Stop it! Stop uh, it now! Let go of the hair. Okay. Let go of the now. hair. <laughs> I can't. I can't do that. I He's getting ready that. for that alternative wrestling look. Yes. Uh, no, I, I, I agree. I think it's independent. See, is kind of a weird a... term that sort of emerged touch it, um, touch it. because the term independent is and and independent or even indie is very you know independent kind of derogatory in a sense. Um, Continue doing so yeah, that, right? So I, I, I think there should be changes. It. Yeah, everybody flying with their banks. I, I, I don't have any banks to play but with, so I'm playing with lunchboxes. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, do you, uh, what do you think of the term alternative? 
I like alternative. I think alternative is a nice. Yeah. <laughs> we are all Everybody fucking her. do this when you're talking. If the camera's everybody, on you, you fucking everybody's do this. Everybody's gonna look like the Zodiac. This is what happens. <laughs> this is what happens. By the, by the way, my hairstyle uh, when I have it right is done by Metamorphosis. <laughs> who sponsors SpotPGH.com? Who sponsors Panel Riot? I'm sorry. Go ahead. All right. Um. Uh. Wrestle e- the first email of yes. four. Uh, it has four. been a wonderful four. year, Jesus. guys. I am we pleased to have your one? wonderful insight every Wednesday morning and get a kick out of both the Raw wrap up as well as the blasphemous Thursday Night Wars in which TNA <laughs> is buried extensively ass. by Riz. What? What? And Wait, no, 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 no. And, and, and he's not done yet. And no, Riz, TNA isn't buying themselves because any product with Ethan Carter cannot go down into the ground. No, oh. it can't. But remember, Dixie Carter is really Remember, trying. cream rises. It has been a ham slam of a year, guys, and I'm looking forward to 2015. Now someone get me a corn dog, damn it. Regards, Dustin. Pierre Kelly says to the WMS Nation. Fuck no. You're going to wait. You're going to wait until this is funny and not funny and funny again. Corn dog, 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 corn dog. Fucking help me, Riz. Fucking corn dog, 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 corn dog. Fuck, you ruined it. Go ahead, go ahead, Sorg. Read it, read it. I'm gonna read it. I got it up on my phone. God damn it. To the WMS Nation. Oh. The new day had a bad day, sort of. What are you fucking... What am I doing? What's happening? Nothing. Nothing right now. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. But it went to the commentary team for having Stardust point out a new look that mostly resembled the Great Gazoo from the Flintstones. We were saying that all Mm -hmm. through the Hangout. Uh, I think the Grinch or any other fictional character in a green face would have done it. When the New Day was ready to wrap this one up, Big E was ready to pin, but Kofi was legal and Big E went out of the way to let him do it. That signified the win for the group at the TLC pre-show. It goes to show you why the New Day are the good guys. See you in 2015. Wait. Nope. The New Day are the good guys to see in 2015. See you all later. Pierre K. I don't know what this email's about. Mr. Techwood. Drive. What was the question? There's no question, man. It's just an email. any questions. You just let us know what's going on. So, the New Day, I don't know. Oh, shit, Sorg. What? Fucking. (laughs) Whoa. (laughs) <laughs> pick it up Whoa. pick it up i forgot i forgot i got that pick it up son put it on your hand and draw a face on it it's behind you it's behind you what the hell is it's going behind on? you we're doing a fucking throwback my friend oh, it's a goddamn motherfucking oh, oven mitt because when me and sword used to get drunk at parties and talk about wrestling he would wear an oven mitt one I was red and evil an mitt, one was good and blue and he's got the good oven mitt what is happening? Wow. <laughs> well, it all started with you playing with your hair. No, I forgot. No, I forgot I had it. You leave Ava tear out uh, of it. Sorg. This is a throwback that Sorg. two people, I hope Veronica watches uh, this one. I oh, can't click gonna... the mouse. I can't. I got to do this left-handed How now. many hands do you have? Nothing uh, wrong with that, Sorg. Shit, we did get some emails in. A- yeah, AJ really sent did. an email that I would like to read. Go for it, Eamon. Lay it on us, oh. you beautiful T-L- son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, thank God you. damn it, I love Eamon. <laughs> TLC happened. The end of the Ambrose Wyatt match was stupid. The Ziggler Harper match was insanity. I missed the rest, and judging from the results and the highlights of the Cena Rollins match, I missed absolutely nothing. After TLC, I decided to watch NXT TakeOver or Evolution. Uh, the entire main roster and the writing Play staff could hair, get Eamon. fucked upside down. I haven't Play watched NXT hair. in a while. And I was 300 times more invested in the matches on TakeOver than I was on TLC, and I watch Raw almost weekly. The announced team is better, even with Alex Riley. The <laughs> matches are better, the talent is better, and the storylines are better. Add in crowds that aren't just shouting what and are actively engaged in the matches from top to bottom, and you have a way better product. To paraphrase Brandon Stroud, the writers on Raw need to clean the whiteboard. Come up with better storylines. You have the best talent you've had in years. Put them into good feuds and bits. Good feuds that make sense. Ambrose and Wyatt are two of your most interesting characters, and the best shit you can come up with is they're both crazy. Who's crazier? I don't know <laughs> if I'm going to stop watching Raw pay-per-views, but I really need to watch NXT more often. Woo! Bo fucking diggity. P.S. Finn Balor, a.k.a. Prince Devitt, painted himself to look like Carnage from Spider-Man, and it was fucking insanity. P.P.S. A comment from the Wits Fandex commenter, Bill Balans. 
So basically, NXT is college with hope and fun and interesting new people, and WWE is a horrible, horrible real world, <laughs> mm-hmm. ruled by a rich, racist white guy who is gifted <laughs> to success and doesn't give a shit about what he wants. Wow. 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 Okay. Bo Diggity doesn't fucking pull his punches. No, he doesn't. <laughs> That's why we love him. Yes, we do. Was there any questions? No, no. there wasn't. Nope. Shit, fuck. Sorg, what's next? Oh, wait. <laughs> One more email from Wrestling Mayhem Show. CR2K. It's the WMS Xmas show, and all I want to see is a Riz molesting Petri, Petri wine drunk L DJ lunchbox. Oh, I shit! Drunk Are you sure? <laughs> Garza got his fucking wish. What? Don't. No. 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 I worked look, hard look on this label, says. you fucker. Look what it says. What is it? Uh, oh, that's Petri, you. That's yeah. You. Petri okay. wine family. That's you. Yeah. All right. I thought it said. I was going to eat the label again. You're not going to eat the fucking label. Okay. This is a Petri. I'm seriously, I haven't saved a a fucking booze bottle since college. I'm saving this one. It's the first Petri wine I've ever had. I'm not giving it up. (laughs) (laughs) Continue with the email. Back to the email. Petri Petri family. family, The family that took time to bring you good wine. And when you're done, remember Petri wine. Do you wonder what wine is good with NXT Revolution? That's Petri wine. Anyway, it is I, the future of the WS, the number one (laughs) contender to Sorg's heart. (laughs) I am the member in Remember When, the Ayatollah of ROH and B-O-L-A. Bola! Bola! And the upcoming 2014 motherfucking fan of the show, and the name is Zero2K. That's half his email, is his introduction. Wow. Okay, it's the Xmas episode. I want to say, I want to use it to say nice things about life, but how the fuck can I? So much stuff happened in wrestling again. LU rocked. Lucha Underground. Our evolution re rocked. Dean Ambrose discovered that unplugging a VGA plug causes an explosion. Jericho is definitely not Lesnar's kryptonite, and Roderick Strong is finally the PWG champ. Yay. But yeah. let's bring it home a little bit. Oh. I've got one for all of those that oh, have really? watched TNA from the beginning. Remember Hi. when Bo Dallas was a happy-go-lucky positive champion? Mm-hmm. So annoying that everyone turned on him and became a huge heel? A positive delusional heel? That is the New Day gimmick. Oh. They're so yeah. annoying, I already hate them. I hate them. This is not racist, right? Mm, yeah, Guys? it, it kind of is. It, it's racist. That's a good you know. point. They could <laughs> become a bo- what? I, I think they're trying to Rocky Johnson. <laughs> Something's happening. Yeah, the well. picture he sent. <laughs> I just Instagrammed that too. Um, uh, no, I think he's wow because he always seems I, so awkward, right? I think they're trying to do Rocky Maivia, but you they're trying so? to force it to happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't force it. Yeah, you can't force it just happened naturally. Idea. So, I don't know. We'll see where they go with this. WMS, couldn't be here tonight, but have a good x Oh, no, you and... got a question. Oh, wait, I skipped the question. Anyway, question to you. What are some memorable gimmick infringements you can remember? Fur and white. Uh, uh, wait, what? No, that's not infringements. Oh, infringements? That's that's when that fucking rape, raper guy uh, became a, a road warrior. <laughs> I didn't write. Yeah, fucking, that's infringement. I don't give a wow. fuck who approved it. Fuck him. Wow. No, I'm no, gonna, seriously. I'm gonna fuck Michael when Cole Chavo, in the ass, and then the next week I'm gonna be a road warrior. Uh, when fuck Chavo you. Guerrero turned into Curran White for that week and a half, mm-hmm. that was stupid. But yeah, but that wasn't but not infringement. Not the point. Uh, no, guys, uh, Gilbert. <laughs> Gilbert. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. That's a good point. All, All right. right. Yeah, what about you, Amen? I'm gonna create. Oh, good. I'm not good, Bobby, because I can't think of what. I'm going to create some controversy here, but Shark Boy as Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, that's not controversy. Or uh, how about the BWO? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. How about LWO? anybody who plays Doik on the Indies? Yes. <laughs> that's Which is that. Fuck those guys. Speaking of that, speaking of that did you see that uh, like Stevie Richards and the Blue Meanie were like dressed in BWO gear outside a WWE studio, uh, headquarters or whatever and tweeted a picture of like, Want to see us in the Royal Rumble? And everyone's response was like, no. Aww, yeah, I think that's, really. that, that's <laughs> kind of over. That's a little bit over. I so. want Stevie Richards to come back as uh, the the, um, the, uh, the, uh, the right to center guy. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it could be fun. Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, email. 
WMS uh, couldn't be there tonight, but have a good Xmas and Feliz Navidad. Don't, don't Thanks, say, Sorg, don't, for all your work you put say, in. LB for your word, Spanish. Sorry. LB, your Spanish is beautiful. Never change. Riz, don't as a holder that. of a Patreon in the bank contract, I'm coming for you. Well, oh, I'm not saying don't that. Say word. that oh, word, don't say that word. Ninja. That's better. Bobby, no. Mike, oh, Bobby, Amy, no. Let's have more Lucha Underground and NXT conversations, and the Ooh. rest have a good one. Zero out. Si, 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 pinche colero. P.S. If Zero loses, P.S. If Zero loses, we riot. All righty. Oh, I wasn't calling Zero a pinche colero uh, for the record because uh, I like him. Oh, okay. Oh. I just want that's mainly the Spanish I can think of right now. Pinche colero. Donde esta la Donde esta la Is that all our email? Yeah, Did I miss anything? Is that it? Guys. Shit, fuck, Sorg. We already plugged oh. Slice on Broadway. Wait, can we? I'm going to replug Slice on Broadway with his oven mitt on. You know Jesus. how awesome they are. They're so good. They give us a pizza every week to feed you guys that come Dude. into the studio. Dude, and tonight puppet. we were gonna sock we were puppet. gonna purchase. We, we got we got puppet. more pizza tonight because so many of you guys came down. It was it was great. It was crowded down here. Shouts between out you to guys Chilla. on the couch. Shouts out to you, Dudders. How did you get this from me? Did you take it from me? No. It's Sorg, you. Sorg, I have a question about Slice on Broadway. Yes. Did I see they had a pepperoni candy cane? <gasps> they did. Did oh, they? Oh, shit. That's amazing. I thought I saw an ad for Slice on Broadway. It had a come, pizza-shaped candy how cane. How come we don't have a pizza-shaped candy cane? I did not ask for the pizza that thing. thing. That's amazing. I need amazing. that in my mouth and in my face and in my life. But but we we, we we get a pizza from them every week to feed the guys in here. We had a bunch of people, and we we're gonna we were going to just go ahead and purchase an extra uh, pizza. Uh, they gave it to us because they are completely what? down with what we're doing. They completely support what we're doing and getting the That's word awesome. out for them. Uh, That's really awesome. They're a local business here <laughs> in the South Hills of Pittsburgh hooking us up. Um, so they're, even if you're not from Pittsburgh, please you know say, hey, what's up? I heard about you, ma'am. Shall I wish I was there? Check out your pizza you know it, and if you can start getting their social media their website slice on broadway.com slice on broadway on the facebooks and on the twitters uh you'll see their food and you'll be hungry instagram as well um <laughs> and uh it, it's good stuff it's they, really they are, good they stuff are damn good pizza. we are there we are there it's fucking incredible pizza yeah we're, we're there over in carnegie pa over on main street right down on the tracks here in beachview keep forgetting on broadway <laughs> avenue so please go check them out sword yes you know it goes great with Slice on Broadway. Uh, Petri Line, the uh, Petri wine from the wine? family that took time to bring you great wine. Took time. Man. Snooze. <laughs> you incompetent <laughs> you to Broadway, And you want a nice pot or red to satisfy your cravings. Mm-hmm. Bring up no. Petri no. Wine. No, no. Mm. no. Petri Wine goes great with any meal. It's true. Any red, any Petri Wine, red. Beef next stroganoff. To a, next to a oh, next to beef stroganoff. God, Bobby knows what he's talking mm. about. And a good old glass of Petri Muscatel. Fruit cake. Next to next to a, a slice of fruit nothing, cake. Nothing good. Fruit cake. Petri dessert red. Mm. Mm. Also, a quick shouts before we go to break. Uh, everybody joining Shit, here on man. this holiday episode in the chat room. I'm okay. sorry. Was you, I thought you were done? No. I'm sorry. Okay. You want to know how I'm done? Huh. I'm done when I say. The Petri family, the family that took time <laughs> to bring you good wine. And I'm serious. Now, this is serious. Uh, all of you listeners out there, please send us a tweet at Panel Riot or at Mayhem Show and hashtag two hashtags Petri now, Petri forever. <laughs> Because it'll make interns stand happy. Sort. What's next? And we're gonna go to a break. We'll be right back with some predictions. He's not dead. And we're gonna <laughs> ask Stone Cold Claws what we want for Christmas. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait.